Pete Davidson finally addresses his budding romance with Kate Beckinsale. Pete makes his relationship with Kate SNL official. Things have been heating up between 25-year-old Pete and 45-year-old Kate since the two were spotted locking lips at a New York Rangers game. The viral photo drew a lot of attention, especially since there's a 20-year age gap between the stars. Naturally, the comedian did not miss an opportunity to poke fun on Saturday Night Live's Weekend Update segment about Kate's cougar status. Apparently, people have a crazy fascination with our age difference. Uh, but it doesn't really bother us. But then again, I'm new to this, so if you have questions about a relationship with a big age difference, just ask Leonardo DiCaprio, Jason Statham, Michael Douglas, Richard Gere, Jeff Goldum, Scott Disick, <laughs> Dane Cook, Derek Jeter, Bruce Willis, Harrison Ford, Tommy Lee, Alec Baldwin, Sean Penn, and whoever the president of France is, Mel Gibson, <laughs> Billy Joel, Mick Jagger, Sylvester Sloan, Eddie Murphy, Kelsey Grammer, Larry King, Larry King, Larry King, uh, <laughs> Rod Stewart, and Donald Trump. I think Pete has a point here. This is nothing new in Hollywood, uh, but he did lay out that laundry list really nicely and it was super funny. Larry King, Larry King, Larry King. And I think it also speaks to the double standard of like, the men in Hollywood do this all the time and then all of a sudden it's a woman and people are like, what? Oh my I God. I can't handle it. <laughs> anyway, Pete's backstory. Pete and Ariana Grande called it quits in October 2018 after five months together and a short engagement. Pete and Kate were first linked together back in January after they were reportedly seen getting cozy at a Golden Globes after party. After months of PDA holding hands in public, taking trips together, and their heavy makeout session that seemed to scare queer eyes Anthony Porosky for life, there seems to be no question that Pete is off the market. He's off the market. Since their romance began, Kate has remained undefeated as the clapback queen when trolls make shady comments about their relationship. One expressed how they were disappointed in your dating choice. Kate replied to that commenter writing, fairly let down by your wonky beard, but thought possibly rude to say. Savage. She also posted a throwback photo of her mom, Judy Lowe, in her prime. One user wrote, dear heavens, Kate, not Pete Davidson. Kate had the best response, quote, no, that's my mother. Easy mistake to make. A really easy mistake. I one love thing Kate. we I know, we really <laughs> love this couple. They're a really witty one and they have a pretty good sense of humor, though Pete got some laughs and some booze when he took on R. Kelly and Michael Jackson. Take a look at this. If you support the Catholic Church, isn't that like the same thing as being an R. Kelly fan? <laughs> like, no. I don't really see the difference. Only like one's music is significantly better. Pete explained why he thinks fans remain loyal despite recent allegations. The reason everybody's so upset is because R. Kelly and Michael Jackson made great music, you know? If I found out Macklemore did some weird stuff, I'd be happy to free up the space on my iPhone, you know? <laughs> One thing's for sure, Pete will always turn controversy into comedy, but it is nice to see him openly talking about his relationship again. I think so, and he always uses SNL as a platform to do that. We saw that with Ariana Grande. I mean, but to your point earlier, Ashley, I feel like this is a double standard talking about the age gap because Kate's a woman. Yes, it is, yes, it is. But we want to hear your thoughts, and of course, we will keep you updated with all the latest on Pete and Kate. Be sure to subscribe to ET. Until next time, I'm Ash Carlson. And I'm Courtney Tezano. Bye for now, guys.